today. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago predictably loud and raucous here in KC as their beloved Chiefs took the field and they are set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at the 38. Now it's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll bring up a second down. To throw again on second down. Burrow, he gets this one to Boyd. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards, now it's third and five. To the air again, Burrow. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes, it's Kelsey on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. in fact, and now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 63 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Butker is on target. These two teams all tied after one. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's finally out of bounds, but he's taking it all the way down to the eight. 76 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Mixon. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Back in the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. McPherson's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not, way. not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now here's Mahomes. 
being chased, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is now 14-10. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Bengals' drive about to get going. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. The Burrows throw here into the hands of Boyd. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And this will set them up nicely deep down at KC territory. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Here we go. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And Burrow going to throw again. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Third and goal, Burrow looking in zone, but it's incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. C.J. Uzama in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals are once again going to retake the lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 17-14. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we have reached half. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Mahomes now to throw. Catch is made by Hardman. 20! And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Miko Hardman, 74 yards. And the Chiefs on just two plays have taken the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. 
they don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 97 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Quick slant caught by Chase. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, here's Mixon. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. On second and goal, Burrow. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on it. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon punching it in from a yard away. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now Mahomes. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Now it's Mahomes again. That to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Mahomes throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Meanwhile, the home throw here complete to Kelsey. First down now, but that clock rolling. Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect him to call a couple. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. 
When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Once again, they run with Mixon. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. High throw, but the catch is made. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Here we go with Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Here we go. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle.